Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I got this metallic blue look for the holidays. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I started off priming my eyes as always using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C12. I'm gonna use this to carve underneath my brows as well, just to kind of keep the look really clean for when I do my brows later on. I'm then gonna jump into the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna be using this to set the only the outer edges of the concealer. I'm making sure to kind of leave like the lid space and the crease like not set because I still want those colors to show up more vibrantly. But this is gonna make it easier for me to get that really, really smooth blend on the edges so everything is like nice and kind of diffused, if that makes sense. So I'm just making sure to go on the outer edges of the concealer. For this look, I'm mostly gonna be using the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie palette. This is the Carnival palette that she did in collaboration with them. And I really, really love this palette. It's so gorgeous. There's so many beautiful colors in here. And I was like super excited to try this one. So I'm going in first with the shade Sky and using a Morphe M506. I'm gonna be applying this onto the crease and kind of winging the shape out on the outer edges. Then to blend out sky, I'm gonna go in with the shade Mint. This is more of like a turquoise type of color. And again, using a clean M506 brush, I'm gonna just go over the edges just to make sure it's really well blended. And because we have that translucent powder there, it's gonna make it much easier for me to get that diffused blown out look. I'm then gonna go in with the shade Mood. This is like a dark navy type of color to kind of deepen up the look a little bit more. I want it really, really kind of winged on the outer edge and then I'm gonna bring the shadow into the crease. The M507 is perfect for this because it is a little bit more tapered than the M506. So it's gonna give me that really, really precise like kind of um, winged out shape that I'm going for on the outer corner. I'm going back into the Makeup Revolution Concealer. This one is in the shade C1, and I'm applying this onto my lid. You guys already know this is the shade that I use like for all of my lid colors. So I'm gonna use a more flat brush to apply this and kind of create like that winged shape again. Once I'm done applying the concealer and I have that shape that I'm going for, I'm just gonna go back in with that Morphe M507, the same brush that I used to apply Mood, that navy blue color, and just kind of blend out the edges so it's not so harsh. Then to fill in that empty space that we have there now, I'm gonna go into the shade Breezy from the palette and apply that directly onto the lid. To add that metallic finish to the lid, of course I gotta go in with a Peaches pigment. They just launched a new collection and they came out with some bomb colors, guys. Like these colors are amazing. I'm gonna be using the shade Double Denim. This is one of the new shades that they just launched and it's freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I love this color so much, but I'm gonna apply this directly over the lid and just kind of stick it on using some NYX glitter glue. I'm also going to go in with the Mermaids. This is an older shade, but it's just as gorgeous too. But for this color, I'm going to be sticking it right on the center of the lid just to kind of give it that extra bit of highlight. That's pretty much it for like the lid and the crease and everything like that. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara next. This is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara just to prep my lashes for falsies. And the false lashes that I'm using today are from Tati Lashes. These are the TL Mitchell Lashes. Super cute. Love these lashes so much. They're so fluffy and they just went perfectly with this look. Thank you. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and start working on my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony like I always do. I had this brow on in my last tutorial and I asked you guys on whether or not you wanted to see how I got it and some of you said yes and other people were like, nah sis, we're good. We like the more natural brow. <laughs> Yeah, this is for the people who kind of wanted to see like how I got like the more sculpted brow. For this brow, I went ahead and lined the top and bottom of the, of the brow first. And then I just went ahead and created some like brow hairs like I usually do. It's pretty much like what I did with my more natural brow, but instead I added like two lines on the top and bottom to kind of make it look more sculpted. Um, So it's pretty simple, nothing too crazy or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to apply your brow gel as well. I totally forgot to apply brow gel. Um, so yeah, don't forget your brow gel. <laughs> so now we're moving on to skin. I'm first going to be using some primer. I used two primers today, actually. I've been really liking the Urban Decay Rebound Spray Primer. So I sprayed it onto my skin first, and then I went in with the LA Girl um, Nourishing Primer. And this one is really, really great. I've been loving like these moisturizing type of primers, like the ones that kind of feel like moisturizer. Then after my skin is primed, I'm going to go into foundation. I'm using the Lancome Taunt It All Foundation in the shade Four. 60 W. Um, this one is a little warm for me right now. Now that it's the winter time and everything, I feel like the shade is like kind of like a little too warm, but we're going to go with it anyways. Once we put on a concealer and everything, it's going to all come together. You guys will see. <laughs> So I'm using two different types of concealers today. The first one I'm going in with is from Lancome. This is their Ultra Wear Concealer in the shade 430W, 435W. This one's a little bit closer to my skin tone, which is perfect because the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that I'm using next, this one is in the shade NC35. I think it's a little too light for me and there's no like color in between like NC35 and NC45 in the Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, so I like to mix it with other concealers to kind of get like that perfect highlighting shade but I'm just gonna be applying this on all the areas that I like to highlight. So for me, that's underneath the eyes, along the sides of my mouth and my chin. I'm gonna blend it out using the same sponge that I use to blend out my foundation. And then I'm just gonna make sure to set it with some powder. I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder, but you can pretty much use any of your favorite setting powders for this step. I'm not going to go too heavy with bronzer today because the foundation that I'm wearing is already kind of bringing some warmth into my skin, but I do want a little bit of extra dimension. So I'm going to use a really light hand and apply that onto the forehead, cheekbones, a little underneath the nose to kind of lift it up a little bit more, as well as the chin. And I'm using Becca's bronzer in the shade Ipanema Sun. So I'm gonna go back into the eyes now and just kind of add those same colors that I use onto the crease, onto the lower lashes. So I'm using mint first to start smoking it out and everything. I'm then gonna go into that shade Mood and use a smaller brush to get really, really close to the lashes and then go in with Sky to blend those two shadows together. For my lower lashes, I'm gonna prime them first using the L'Oreal Lash Primer. And as soon as it dries, I'm just gonna apply some of that Lancome mascara again onto the lower lashes. So of course I had to add a peaches pigment to the inner corners as well. I'm using the shade Pool Party on a damp brush. I love this color so much. It's so pretty. It's one of the newer colors they launched and I'm just gonna pop that onto the inner corners to kind of brighten the eyes a little bit more. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my skin next using some Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray to mold all those products together. And this is also gonna make my highlighter kind of like pop a little bit more. To highlight today, I'm using the Sub-Zero palette that Be Perfect Cosmetics came out 
out with in collaboration with Mitchell. I absolutely love this palette. It's so gorgeous. There's, there's so many beautiful like highlighters in here and they just all like make your skin look amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to use um, OTT, which is one of the shades from the palette and apply that onto the high points of my face. So cheekbones, a little on the forehead, chin, as well as the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose. And then to set the makeup, I'm going to go back in with some Urban Decay setting spray and just kind of spritz that all over just to really make sure that the makeup kind of stays in place. So at this point, all I have left to do is lips. I'm gonna line my lips first using a MAC pencil. This one is in the shade Plum. I'm just gonna line my lips as normal, nothing new here. And um, I'm just gonna make sure to feather the inner corners as well, so that way I have like a nice like blended look once I apply my lipstick. Then to fill in my lips, I use Anastasia's liquid lipstick in the shade Stripped. I applied a little bit onto the lower lip and then blotted my lips together and just kind of blended it out using my finger into the lip liner. That's the most effective way for me to like get like a really well blended like lip application. I did apply a lip topper on top of my lipstick, but for some reason I didn't show it because I'm weird. But for the final step, I went in with some lip gloss. Of course, I used the JD Glow Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Arabic Jewels. And that's pretty much it for this look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If I don't see you again um, before Christmas, happy holidays to everybody. I hope you guys stay safe. Know that I love you and I appreciate you. I'll be turning 26 this Christmas, so that should be exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more makeup tutorials and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.